Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. Hello all dinosaurs, I'm Dan and today I'm going to show you guys the entire set of NEA dinosaur figures. So let's begin by taking a look at the first one. Right here we have the Mosasaurus, okay? This is from the Jurassic World series that comes with a beautiful packaging. So let's open every single one of them. So right here we have a Mosasaurus, alright? So check this out, the Lizard of the Mills River. It looks really nice, it is movie accurate. So that's our first figure of the day, so let's place it right over here, okay? So the next one, let's take a look, will be the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Alright, let's open this up. We have plenty to go, so we have to be really quick about this. Okay, check this out. This is a new T-Rex. Okay, this is actually from 2018. A Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Tyrant Lizard King. I like this figure. What about you guys? Alright, let's place this over here. And speaking of Jurassic World, the new Brachiosaurus will be out soon. And have you guys seen the packaging? It is amazing. Alright, the next figure we're taking a look at is the Indoraptor, alright? Check this out, I love this packaging, it looks really really brilliant. And the Indoraptor is actually right over here, because I've placed it in my Indoraptor shelf. Indoraptor is known as the... I'm not too sure, do you guys know the nickname of the Indoraptor? I know the Indominus Rex is known as the Untamable um, King. But what about the Indoraptor? If you guys know, do let me know down below, alright? Um, let's pick up the next figure, which is the Velociraptor Blue. Beautiful figure, let's pop this open. Let's take a look at this. Uh, blue. So, it looks brilliant. Check this out, the blue stripe across the body. This blue stripe right here touches the eye at the top, but not the other side. And blue is known as... I mean the Velociraptor is known as the Swift Caesar or the Speedy Tiff. It is the same... Uh, it has the same meaning. Okay, this set right here, it's a classic set. We'll take a look at this later on. First, let's take a look at the Stiggy Moloch. This is from the Jurassic World series as well, so let's check this out. So let's get this out of the box and place this right back so that I have an easier time keeping all of them, okay? So this is the Stiggy Moloch. It is one of my most favorite herbivorous dinosaurs, I mean, ever since the new movie. Stiggy Moloch. Um, is known as the River Styx Demon. Okay, next one. Let's take a look at this fatted T-Rex. This is a fatted grey T-Rex. Do you know that many dinosaurs, or rather, um, yeah, plenty of dinosaurs actually have feathers? Okay. So this is a feathered grey T-Rex, looks really nice. We have plenty of T-Rex in this um, series. Um, there's a new one that came along inside a brand new set. And this has the same sculpt as the Jurassic World one. The green T-Rex, a green tyrant lizard king. Next up, let's take a look at this brand new figure. This is a 2019 figure which looks really good. It's Gyracosaurus. Oops. Popping sound field. Styracosaurus is known as the Spiked Lizard. Alright. Which is your most favorite Ceratopsian? My most se favorite Ceratopsian should be the Triceratops. Yeah, I know it's mainstream. Yeah, what about you guys? Let me know down below. There's a new Parasaurolophus, which I will be showing you. Um, I think it is hidden right below. Yeah, that's fine. Let's take a look at this Conotaurus from the Jurassic World series as well. 
Which is your most favorite dinosaur from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Is it the Indoraptor? Is it the Conotaurus? For me, I, I, I love the uh, Indoraptor. I think it is super cool, but it is a fake dinosaur, but it is still looking really good. Conotaurus is known as the meat eating bull, you know. I mean, obviously, because it looks like a bull with these two horns right over there. Okay, next up, let's take a look at some of the older um, figures from NEA. This is actually a classic figure of a Smilodon and a Nindertalensis. Nindertalensis is actually a um, prehistoric man. Okay, so here's the Smilodon, also known as the Saber-Toothed Cat. I actually called it the Saber-Toothed Cat previously. Okay, it has huge, huge front um, what do you call that? Um, teeth or claws, I mean fangs. And here's the Homo Nidentalensis, a prehistoric caveman. Okay, so there you go. Let's place it right over. Oh, it's having some difficulty trying to stand. Next up, um, Woolly Mammoth, a prehistoric elephant. Okay. Um, recently, I've actually read a piece of news. I mean, not exactly recently, probably like one or two years ago. <laughs> um, scientists actually said that they might be able to bring the woolly mammoth back from the dead, you know, by having this process called the de extinction. So I think if they manage to do that successfully, it will be really, really interesting and really awesome because we'll be able to see a prehistoric elephant. That will be super amazing, right? And here's the baby Uli Mammoth. Alright, next figure, let's take a look, will be the Triceratops. My most favorite Ceratops. One of my most favorite, should I say. I think the Cynoceratops is a nice one, as well as the Pachy Rhinosaurus. But Triceratops is one huge one, and it is actually the arc rival of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Triceratops is known as the three horn face. You know, obviously, it's because of this three horns right in front of its face. Alright, Triceratops, you know, it is built like a tank. Alright, next up, let's take a look at the Ankylosaurus. You know, the, the poor dinosaur which was flipped over by the Indominus Rex and totally um, damaged by it. Not really damaged, as in, um, killed by the Indominus Rex. Poor Ankylosaurus. So there you go, Ankylosaurus is known as the Fused Lizard, I think you guys know it, because the bones inside its body are fused together to form a really really strong armor against predators. Next up, we have a Futabarsaurus. Futabarsaurus is actually a Plesiosaur, a prehistoric flying, flying, not flying, it's swimming, prehistoric swimming reptile, okay? Um, Futabasaurus was discovered in Japan and it is known as the Futabars Lizard. Alright, check this out. Cool figure, really cool figure. Let's place it right behind and let's move on to the next figure. We have the Stegosaurus, one of the most famous dinosaurs ever. Stegosaurus is known as the Roof Lizard because, you know, scientists thought that these plates were lying like shingles on a roof initially until they found out that these plates are actually you know standing upwards not sideways all right they thought you know they were sideways across the body so that's the roof lizard for you and let's move on to the brachiosaurus yes brachiosaurus you know Mattel is coming up with a new figure of it really soon I'm super excited I can't wait to purchase it and they're actually coming out with a box that looks um, like a classic um, um, canner box. It's really, really awesome. Go and check it out on Instagram. There are plenty of photos of it. I don't think I can actually place it um, over here. But I'll be purchasing that really soon, like super soon. Brachiosaurus is known as the arm lizard because the two front legs, they actually look like arms of the dinosaur. But they are, of course, not. Okay, let me just get this one. Spinosaurus, this is a quadrupedal Spinosaurus. 
What do I mean by quadrupedal? Quadrupedal means it is walking on all four quads. All four quads, which means all four legs, as compared to the bipedal Spinosaurus. Bipedal Spinosaurus, I have to show you right here. So this is the bipedal Spinosaurus. This is the depiction of a Spinosaurus from um, you know, a few years back. And you know, recently they have actually concluded that Spinosaurus actually um, could have walked on four legs. Um, so there you go, Spinosaurus is known as the spine lizard. Obviously, it's because of the huge spine bones, all right? Um, high neural bones. And this set consists of a T-Rex, a Spinosaurus, and a nest of letter X, and a Silocanth. So there you go, this set. I'm not gonna open this because it is super troublesome for me to actually keep it later on. So I just leave it um, uh, just to show you guys through the box, okay? So next up, we'll have a Velociraptor. This is a green Velociraptor. Um, this is actually a 2018 version, yep. And this means our animal, NEA collection. I think L stands for large, okay? Um, so there you go, a Velociraptor, a green version. We have another version right here, which it's um, a pretty cool addition. It came along in a set. It came along in a, a playset. I can't remember the playset. So apparently they also have plenty of different uh, Velociraptors. Okay, this is not able to stand really well, but that it's fine. Because I'll be showing you this one, which contains three different figures. This is a new set from 2019 or set which is actually pretty disappointing because they've actually just you know repackaged the Mosasaurus and the Red T-Rex just uh, repaint the Velociraptor so there's nothing special about this set and um, yeah it's actually a um, just a rebrand of the previous set right here if you check this out you know, this Velociraptor is green in color. The Mosasaurus and the Red Rex, they are actually the same. So it's quite disappointing for Takara Tomy just to repackage their older toys into a box set. You know, of course, I think they should have put in more effort. All right, this is the next box set, which has a repainted version of um, the Spinosaurus, which is the green one. And that's a Feather T-Rex, a repaint of the Feather T-Rex. So, these two box sets are very disappointing in my opinion, um, but I love the new species that they have actually produced, which is the Parasaurolophus figure right here. Okay, this is a new species from Takara Tomy, but in terms of details, it is way lacking than what they have previously um, came up with. So the new batches of um, um, Takara Tomy figures are actually super disappointing. So if you do a comparison with the Triceratops, you can see plenty of details on this Triceratops. If you take a look at this, it is very smooth. And this is small and it is light. The material just feels, you know, totally different. So there's a um, drop in quality in my own opinion. Um, yeah, the, the latest ones. Especially this, it looks, I mean, to be all really honest, it doesn't look as good as the previous Takara Tomy figures, which are some of my most favorite figures, you know, from childhood time, all right? So let's take a look at this, Tyrannosaurus Rex, this is like the first figure, yeah, AL01, the classic T-Rex, which is really old, and it is slightly damaged as well, if you take a look at this, the paint is wearing off. But this is still one of my most favorite from Sakara Tomy because it is the classic T-Rex, the classic Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, so I'm just gonna place it right over here. And the next one, let's take a look. It's a real prehistoric um, flying reptile because I've actually accidentally caught the um, Futabasaurus a Plesiosaurus. So that's really, really um, a funny moment for you guys, all right? So there you go, a prehistoric flying reptile, the Tyrannodon, which is also a classic figure. 
Okay, so let's place it right behind and let's take a look at our last figure. Probably our last figure, not exactly, because we have still two more in the back. So let me just show you guys this. Conotaurus. Is this Conotaurus from um, the same sculpt as the Jurassic World one? Nope. They are actually different. Very different in my opinion. They don't look very, very different. They look slightly different. Or are they the same? <laughs> Let's check it out. They look the same, alright, just with a different paint. Yeah, I think they're probably the same. Conotaurus, the meat-eating bull. I actually like this color more. It's kind of realistic, kind of what you can find from modern day or you know, reptiles like you know, crocodiles and you know, lizards. And yes, our final two figures are one are those that came in a set. This Ankylosaurus came in a uh, older volcano um, set and um, this one right here is actually a Jurassic World um, Pteranodon. Yeah, just to show you guys, this is actually a nice one that came together with the Owen figure. Alright, um, yeah, I think that's all. This is all. These are all the um, Dinosaur figures from uh, Chikara told me. I don't think you can find a video online which can contain every single one of this. Yeah, so there you go. Oh, I've forgotten to mention that this set actually comes with a little baby T Rex right behind. So there is some saving grace in this set. They actually produce the new baby T Rex. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, do give it a thumbs up. You know, I'm sorry I didn't do the review on the um, LEGO T-Rex set yet because that would take me like super long. It would take me at least 4 hours to make that video. I'll be doing that tonight and you guys will be um, looking at the review tomorrow, okay? So stay tuned for that. I've actually purchased the Baryonyx from eBay which was a bad move. Of course, my local Toys R Us just stocked them up and I have to wait for the Baryonyx set to arrive at my home. So I need to wait for that for at least a week. So the Baryonyx is the one which I'm most excited about, alright? Um, no, the T-Rex, the T-Rex is just a repaint and, um, and I'm getting the Triceratops as well. Triceratops, I'm just getting the figure from a seller. Uh, I'm not getting the entire set because I'm not really a huge collector of um, Lego. I just like the figures, not the play sets. Okay, so that's all I guess. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, stay tuned. You know, the next couple of weeks or next couple of days is going to be really, really exciting because I'll be getting the Indominus Rex. I want to purchase a Brachiosaurus. Uh, got yeah, plenty of new stuff coming up. I'm super excited. So stay tuned. Turn on the bell notifications and of course, oh my goodness, I forgot to actually ask you guys to subscribe to my second channel right at the beginning of the video, but that's fine. And, you know, the, the true dinosaurs will watch the entire video, so subscribe to my second channel. I'll be uploading a new vlog uh, probably by this weekend. Yeah, so stay tuned for that as well. Okay, goodbye.